Aloha, guys. Guess what? I came all the way from Hawaii to film a studio space with Dio. But oh no! This place is so messy. What is this? Just random stuff everywhere. Ah, okay, what's over here? A random spider? Halloween is over! Why is it still here? Okay, all right, let's check out other places. Okay, maybe I can film here. No, I can't film here! Huh. There's just stuff everywhere! <gasps> Did you guys see this room? And also a Gus birthday cake? Gus birthday was months ago! How old is this cake? Ugh. Okay guys, this place needs a major cleanup. Like what happened, you know? Why would you just leave this out? What if somebody come and trip? I know who's supposed to be in charge while I'm gone. Combo! Welcome back. What's up? What happened here when I was gone to Hawaii? I haven't been gone that long. What do you mean what happened? Everything is perfectly fine and normal and clean, sort of. Wait, when's the last time this place been sanitized and clean? Oh, well, uh, I may have forgotten to clean a few times. Well, a lot of the times. Whoopsie. There must be lots of germs and bacteria everywhere then. Koba, how can you let this happen? Hey, I'm a pro gamer, not a pro cleaner. I know what to do. I gotta call Peck. Peck can help me figure out how many dirty stuff is around you, okay? All right, Combo. I'll see you later, but you better clean this mess up. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on it. Okay, uh, where to start? Okay, let's see here. Peck! Which one is Peck's line? Oh, there it is. Peck, Peck, are you there? I win. What's going on? Okay, I don't know about you, but have you seen the studio space? It's so messy lately. It's probably filled with germs and bacteria. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I haven't gone there because I don't want to keep germs on my flippers. It's pretty bad. Okay, but it gives me a great idea, Peck. I want to know what types of germs and bacteria are all over this place. Can you send me your latest Petri dish invention, please? Yeah, coming right up. Ooh, just what I needed. Thank you, Peck. Okay, guys, so we gotta go investigate and figure out what kinds of gross little germs and bacteria are around the office, okay? Okay, first, most important step is to wash your hands before you begin the experiment because, oh no, I should have. There you go. Oh no, I forgot to count the 15 seconds. I'm doing this all wrong, guys. So you have to put soap in your hand, and you gotta count, you know, rub all around, and you gotta sing the ABC song. You know what I mean? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Speed me up, G, H, I don't, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, X, Y, Z. Okay guys, so you guys don't know, these are Petri dish, and inside each Petri dish, you guys see that thin film that you guys see here? Kinda looks like jelly. These are auger. What? Plate. And so what's in it is a medium for bacteria to grow, so it'll have like lots of nutrients, Perfect environment for bacteria, if there is any, okay? That's what we're trying to investigate today. We also have this little cotton swab here. You see it? So I'm gonna get one, take one out. So another thing the bacteria needs to grow besides yummy food is water. Did you guys guess it? So I also have this little clean water here that was included in the kit. Thanks, Peck. Dip it in water. Now it's all nice and clean, and bacteria would love this water. So let's go and find places with bacteria, okay? Oh, hey there, Mom! Yeah. Wait, what are you doing on the table? You know, you're supposed to sit on the chair, not the table. <laughs> okay, anyways, what are you having for lunch? <laughs> okay, that doesn't sound too yummy. 
But anyways, I'm here to test the table for bacteria because your feet's on there and everybody comes here for lunch. So let's see, okay? I want to swab. Oh, don't mind me, Mo. Do you do your thing. Okay. There. Mo, you might want to wash your hands afterwards, okay? Okay, now that I'm back, I'm going to put it here on the agar plate just gently. This is dirty, so I'm gonna put it here and throw it away for later. Close it up. And of course, you always wanna label it, right? Because you don't want a whole bunch of these and you don't know where it came from. I'm gonna tape it up first because you don't want them to escape, you know? All right, tape the sides. Okay, put a label on. Kitchen table. Ask for more water. Okay, next thing we should test is this doorknob here. Ooh, just thinking about it. So you guys know everybody uses doorknob to go in and out, right? So this would be a perfect spot to investigate to see if there's any bacteria. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Come bacteria, come to me. Putting it in, swapping it in. Oh my, look at this desk. It's so cluttered. Oh, what is this? Oh, I got distracted. Oh, what is that? This would be a perfect spot because, you know, people edit here. And when was the last time that they have cleaned this keyboard? You know what I mean? So let's investigate. Swap the keyboard. Yeah, let's get in between the little crack here. Ooh. All right. Into the Petri dish. This is Combo's workout spot, so I don't know. Ugh. I don't know when's the last time you clean all this stuff, you know? Oh, okay. Swab. Okay, this bench here is probably extra dirty from all that sweat. It's even already black. Ew. Yeah, combo. Okay, where else could I, oh. Okay guys, I just realized. Okay, my shoes is a little dirty and uh, probably a little smelly. Shouldn't have done that. You know what that means? The floor must be in Fested with bacteria. Okay. All right. Good thing I got this cotton swab here. Let's see. There's bacteria down here. Gotcha. Floor. Ugh. Okay. So this is the office official water cooler. You know what that means? A lot of people have been using their hands and little fingers and to press these little buttons here for water. They can only mean one thing lots of bacteria and we didn't clean or wash their hands before. There. Yeah. Water cooler into the Petri dish. There. Okay, so people always use this light switch, right, to turn on and off the office. See? You know what that means. Probably lots of bacteria and germs are on here, so. Go getting everywhere. Light switch. This is Bree and Pex lab. They have been doing lots of fun and cool science experiments around here, like this one, and that one, and even this really cool one. Okay, but the problem is they still left their Halloween decoration up, and OMG, what? Why is it so dirty? This would be a good spot to test for bacteria. Wow, look at all these dusk and little, what are these? Oh, guys, you know what the number one rule of lab safety is? Keeping your place clean. Oh, I gotta talk to Peck about this. <laughs> oh, Peck and Bree's lab, guys. I already see the dirt on the actual Petri dish itself. Gross. Oh, okay, guys. I have a giant teeth toy here. Oh. Okay, you know what that means. Must be lots of bacteria on this toy. When was the last time this toy was clean and sanitized? You know what I mean? Okay, let's just see if how much bacteria we can pick up here. Oh, it's always important to clean your toys afterwards. Okay, bye bye teeth. A giant teeth. Okay guys, I got all my Petri dish here with everything labeled, okay? But in order to complete the experiment, you're actually gonna need one 
but it doesn't have anything suave on here. This is called a control. That way you've got to make sure that each little one is testing for one variable. If nothing's on here, we're going to see and make sure that these petri dish are good to go. You know what I mean? Okay. Next thing you're going to do here is you're going to get a container. And we're actually going to flip these upside down. Okay, and it's okay to stack one on top of each other. These are all closed off. Go. And we gotta make sure we label this because we don't want anybody opening it, okay? The Studio Space Bacteria Experiment. Do not open until instructed. Store it here. For safekeeping, okay, and then maybe we'll check back on it for about a week. Help! Help! Okay, can you guys, you know, enter any other way, like through a door, like a regular person? Oh gosh, well, we just want to make a memorable first impression. Oh yeah, it's a big entrance, all right. Anyway, so I've been going around, you know, testing for bacteria around different places around the office. So I actually have to go back to Hawaii. Is there any way you can keep an eye out on my bacteria container and then have somebody from the studio space, you know, check up on it in a week and then make a video so I can see how dirty this place is, please? You got it. I know just a person to handle this experiment. Thank you so much. Bye, and the, I wanna wash your feet. This table is wet. Oh gosh. Okay, before I head out, yeah, but you wash your hands, okay? Oh. A, B, C, D. All right, guys, I guess it's time to go back to Hawaii. Got the souvenir with me. Okay, this is my Hawaii door portal. All right, Peck, you're in charge of the experiment, okay? Don't let me down. For now, see you guys soon. Bye. Boy, what a great morning it is at the studio space. <laughs> oh, hey, Loam. Hi, Bri, aloha. I was wondering, since you're at the studio space, you can help me out with this experiment I started the other night. Oh, sure. What do you need help with? Okay, so I started this bacteria experiment around the office. I went around and collect samples, like from the editor's desk, you know, from the doorknob. And I want to see if there's any bacteria, you know, growing around the office. You know, we got to keep that place sanitized because when I went there, it was so dirty. Yeah, so can you go to that little corner in the room and check on my sample, please? Oh, yeah, sure. I can do that. Okay, thank you so much, Bree. Okay, so report back to me once you get everything ready. I'm so excited and nervous and scared. Okay, bye. Gotta go help Luann. Sorry, bag. <laughs> Well, this is the shelf that Loan was talking about, so it's gotta be around here somewhere. Uh, no. That doesn't look like an experiment. Uh, it's this right here. The Studio Space Bacteria Experiment. Do not open until instructed. She was serious about that. There's three underlines. <laughs> okay, well, let's go check it out. <laughs> On second thought, we might need gloves. <laughs> All right, let's check out this bacteria. Oh, gross. So first up, we're gonna take a look at our control and looks like a control. There's nothing growing on it at all. Hm. So next up is Brie and Peck's lab table. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, that is really messy. It is very cloudy looking and everything, but we had just finished an experiment and it was Peck's turn to clean. I don't think he did a very good job. So our next one is going to be the water cooler and there's already moisture in here. And look at that. There's like different sizes, some big growths, and there's white and kind of an orangish yellow growth. Entrance doorknob, let's check it out. Wow, surprisingly, we all have to touch this when we come in the office and there's not nearly as much bacteria growth as there are in a lot of these other samples. This one might even be the least amount. So next up is the kitchen table. Whew, let's check this out. 
This one is pretty nasty and there's even like a dark growth right here that kind of looks a little fuzzy and it just, ooh, there's different colors and different sizes everywhere. So next up is toy teeth. Well, the, the big ones, the big toy ones. Let's check it out. I think these teeth need to be brushed. That is a lot of different bacteria growth and look, small, medium, and large too. So next up is the random keyboard. Ew, I wonder whose keyboard this is. There's all sorts of like big white growths and even some little medium yellow ones and ugh, this thing was pretty dirty. Next up, Combo's workout bench. And that's kind of strange. It's a totally different color. It's more kind of like an off-white and it's really solid though. Like these guys right here are very solid. Next up, light switch. Let's check it out. Well, this one has a lot of bacteria growth, but it doesn't look as bad as some of the previous ones. It's pretty uniform except for that big spot right there. But there is still plenty of bacteria growth. So last up, we have the floor. This one is disgusting. We don't have as many of the small little bacteria dots, but we've got totally different colors. We've got the black and fuzzy one. We've got like, this one almost looks like eggs or something. I don't know. There's all shapes and sizes, and that is disgusting. But it is the floor, so I guess you'd expect there to be a lot of bacteria. Now let's get these results back to Loanne. Hey, Loanne. Hi, Bree. Okay, so tell me, what did you find out? Please do not tell me there's lots of bacteria, please. Well, I think that the most bacteria growth is in between mine and Peck's lab table. Oh no, guys. I told you guys to always clean up, especially in the lab. It's very important to keep your work area clean, you know, for safety purposes. I think we were carving pumpkins. Ooh, pumpkin, that's a fun experiment. But remember to clean up next time, okay? Mm. And between the floor. Oh, that makes sense because a lot of people walk in and out with their dirty shoes and maybe lots of bacteria are coming in from the outside. That's why you see a lot of different types of bacteria colonies. All right, well, good luck. Clean up and see you guys next time, okay? Bye. Okay, bye. <sighs> Man, looking at this, we've got a lot of cleaning to do, so let's get started. Hey guys, let me briefly explain how the germs got here. Germs are tiny living organisms that can only be seen under a microscope, which is why you weren't able to see them on the keyboard, light switch, or floor with just your eye. There are different types of germs that live in different places, like animals, plants, and people. These germs can do different things like break down food in our tummies, while others can make us sick. There are several ways that these germs can be spread. Person-to-person -person contact, handshake or high five, through the air, cough or sneeze, and on surfaces that are commonly touched, like the surfaces the land tested in the office. Places like an office building or school can have a lot of germs on the surfaces that people frequently touch. In fact, an office desk like the one Loan swab can have 400 times more germs and bacteria on it than a toilet seat. That is why it is important to wash your hands or flippers, especially before eating or touching your face. Looks like I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Studio Space, everyone. Have a excellent day.